Hi everyone and welcome to this short video about creating a site template. Creating site templates are relatively easy and uh, actually sort of fun to do. We will see that there will be times when you may want to create a site, and here's one that I created a little while back, so that people can come and get this site and you can have it all set up for them. This could be for students, for teachers, or for anything actually. So let's take a look at the process here real briefly. And so we have a site that we created here, and this is just a little sandbox site that we have, and we're going to create a template out of it. So how do we do that? Well, all we need to do is to go to More Actions, and we're going to go to Manage This Site. This is the behind the scenes of your Google site that you have created. And we'll come down to the General area. And once we're at the General area, we're going to scroll all the way down. This is that all important page where you can actually copy a site, delete the site, and here we go. We can publish this site as a template. So let's go ahead and publish this site as a template. Here we have author's name, and we can type in the site template name. So we'll just call this Tony's Sandbox or whatever you would like and it will require you to put in a description so we'll put a quick description in here Google will also ask you to select a category and so let's go school and education and note anyone will be able to view your template and make changes to it once they get it I said okay so let's submit the template and so right now we're taking the item that we just created and then we're submitting it to Google to place it on their list of sites in a public gallery. And it says here that the site has been submitted. And notice now at the very top of the site we have a, a black banner. That's very important to notice because that is to remind you that the site that you've created now is a template and you really don't want to go making changes to that template. So of course you want to and we'll talk about that in just a minute so we can return to the site so now this little sandbox site that I've created whatever it may be is now up at the Google Gallery and anybody can use this site well let's see how that all works I'm gonna to go to my sites and let's pretend for just a moment I'm someone out there who wants to create a new site so I'm going to create a new site and once I create a new site, I can start, of course, with a blank template. I have some templates here, or I can browse the gallery for more. So if I browse the gallery, there's all kinds of sites that are up there. I should be able to go to school and education and do a little search for Tony's Sandbox. I'm just going to type in Tony, and there it is. There's Sony, Tony's Sandbox right there. I'm going to select it. I can see what it looks like from here. I can preview the template. That means it's actually active. I can preview everything here. And if I would like to use this template, all I have to do is to click on Use This Template. And notice now Tony's Sandbox is highlighted. I give my site a name, creates the URL. I can even choose the option or I should say the theme if I wanted to and the all important more options that a lot of people overlook I can make it shareable to the world or only people I specify yep gotta type that in and then say create site well I'm gonna cancel that because I've already got the site created and let me get back to my sandbox site for just a moment. So it's really important that you realize that once you submit a site to Google to put up in their gallery that it is accessible to everybody in the world and they can do what they want with that site. The interesting thing about a template is that if you start making some changes to this template site that you have in your list of Google Sites those changes are automatically pushed up to the gallery. So do keep that in mind. 
Also, if you're within a Google Apps domain, you can upload your site to just that domain and not to the world. Just something to think about. Well, the last part of this is what if you don't want that site up there in the gallery any longer? Well, we go to the site in question. We go to More Actions, Manage Site. And now, because this is a template, you have a new category up here or an area to go to called Template Information. And if we take a look at that, we can actually remove this site from the gallery. So if I click on Remove from Gallery, two things happen. No longer do you see that black banner at the top. You know that this site is no longer a template in the gallery. But now when you do a search up in the gallery, you will not find it. So removing it from the gallery is as easy as placing it on the gallery. Well, there we go. I hope you found this video helpful, and you have a good day.